scale to record levels, whether it's the S&P 500 in the United States or the Korean markets or even the Indian markets back home, India's former Reserve Bank Governor Raghuram Rajan, who speaks exclusively to CNBC, says he remains optimistic that the world is on the path to a global recovery. Listen in to his views. Last time we spoke, which was only a couple of months ago, uh, you told me that we are in the process of a global recovery. Mm -hmm. You were very optimistic, very confident about we, where we were um, in terms of that economic recovery. Has anything changed for you in the last couple of months? Well, I, I think the changes have largely been positive with one potential negative. The positives have been the, the political developments. As you know, we had an election in, in France which uh, essentially uh, put in a liberal uh, in mm. the presidency. Uh, we've had the U.S. administration dialing back from some of the election rhetoric, uh, at least to some extent. Mm. And the uh, real question uh, uh, that, that has arisen since then, the negative to some extent, it's what's going on in China. Mm. And uh, one of the worries is uh, with the Chinese administration trying to uh, essentially tighten uh, both regulation as well as monetary policy in, in an attempt to deal with potential problems in the shadow financial system, mm. how that plays out. And if the tightening gets excessive, do they have the ability to unwind uh, quickly? Do you believe that they do? I mean, of course, this comes on the, on the back of a downgrade for China from Moody's, the first downgrade that we've seen in a quarter of a century. Well, I, I think they're really playing the, uh, the following odds. If we don't tighten now and clean up, do we enhance the possibility of a very uh, deep downturn mm. uh, or a crisis down the line uh, versus we sacrifice some growth now if we tighten, but at least we avoid that really bad situation. I think from a regulatory perspective, what they're doing right now makes sense. Uh, the question is how much political tolerance there is for the slowing growth. Uh, Moody's came out and said 5% over five years in terms of their growth targets. Do you have a view and expectation as to just how fast China's growth is going to be over the next five years? I mean, I think that's a reasonable estimate, but uh, what is important really is to do it in a sustainable way, mm. which means cleaning up the problems that have built up in the financial sector. As you know, the IMF worried about the enormous buildup in debt that has taken place over the last uh, seven or eight years since the crisis, and that certainly needs to be rectified sooner rather than later mm. to avoid uh, you know, uncertainty. Okay. Uh, moving from the China now uh, over to the U.S., we just heard from uh, James Bullard earlier today talking in Tokyo saying he still believes that the U.S. is being too aggressive, the Federal Reserve is being too aggressive in terms of its uh, desire to lift interest rates higher. Um, what is your view on the interest rate cycle in the States? Well, I, I'm more of the view that they are probably doing the right thing. And, and the reason for that is uh, with the U.S. economy uh, getting to uh, regions that most people would argue is close to full employment, mm. and with labor being, especially skilled labor, being hard to find, uh, it is quite possible we could see a turnaround in wage growth. And so my uh, worry is it shouldn't happen that suddenly we see a jobs report which has substantially higher wage growth than the markets expected in which case you could get a sharper market reaction. It's better that the Fed sort of prepare the markets by steadily raising interest rates mm -hmm. so that there isn't a sudden perception that the Fed is behind the curve. This is going to happen very quickly in a big way. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, the Fed has uh, said repeatedly this is going to be a slow and measured process, but it is going to be a process. Mm -hmm. And we're not going to back away from it unless the data change considerably. Mm -hmm. I think that's a reasonable position to be. I think there are plenty of people out there who would argue the opposite position, mm. that the Fed is behind the curve rather than ahead of it. Mm. And my sense is if you have enough people on both sides, you're probably doing something right. Something right. There you go. Okay,